Greetings, friends and future friends. Today I want to show you something on the Korg PA5X Arranger keyboard. Matrix 2. If you watched the previous video I did on the Matrix, you got a little bit of an understanding on how the Matrix works and how to change the sounds. Today I want to take it a step further. Although I'm not an expert and there is hardly any information out there on the Matrix, I suggest you just play with it and what you learn, pass on. Okay, so we have a main screen open. And let's review. So if we go back to Mixer, make sure you're at pads and keyboards. If you remember, pad one actually controls the parameters of all the pads one through 13. Pad two shows all the parameters of pads two through 14. And pad three shows all the parameters of three through 15. And pad four shows all the parameters of pads four through 16. So let's go back to one. Let's expand the keyboard out a little bit. We're in the main. Let's go down to bend tuning. And let's go to pad one again. And let's change that parameter. Let's change it down. Remember, identify the pad, then tap on it twice, and then change that parameter. Now we've just changed that parameter, minus seven. And you can see, it will stay there. Let's go back out to the main matrix. It is there. Okay, let's exit back out to the main and go back to the mixer and go back to expand. And there we are. Now, this parameter is globally saved and will stay there as long as you go into and only use player one. Now, if I go player one, you can still hear the pitch is dropped down. If we go into another style, you will notice, we'll exit back out of that, back to the mixer, back to expand, you'll notice that the pitch hasn't changed. On that pad, this number one pad, it's still minus seven. So that parameter is saved globally and will stay there throughout that style playing in style one. If you turn the PA5X Ranger keyboard off and turn it back on, you will lose that setting. It will go back to its natural zero state as it was when we first edited it. And that goes for all the parameters. If you go into EQing, or you go into the main, the volumes, or anything, let's go back to that bend, it will be erased and will not be saved. And the other thing is, when you go up here to pad save, and it says save pad to library, it will not save that pad. So that is not an option that we can use. And here's the other thing that is not a little situation that's going on with the PA5X. If you watch that seven and I'm playing and it's a minus seven, but I go to player two and come back, it still shows minus seven. But as soon as I touch that pad, it goes back to its original sound, which is actually, if we go exit out of this, go to a main, go to our matrix, is actually orchestra symbol. So again, let's review this. If you change any parameter in any of these pads, no matter one through 16, if you change any of those parameters in that pad, they will stay there as long as you stay in player one. You can change the styles, but you have to stay in player one. Going to player two and coming back will erase all those parameters. And if you shut the keyboard down and bring it back up, that will also eliminate all those parameters. So what's our workaround? How can we change the parameters of that pad in the matrix and make them permanent so that when we fire the keyboard up or change players or do anything else, the parameters that we change in that pad are permanent. Now, what we're first going to do is go to the main screen here. And we know we have pads 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the deck of the keyboard. 
So let's go to the matrix and we look and it's orchestra symbol, pad one. That sound is the sound that we want to alter. And for this tutorial, we're going to drop it down minus seven. Okay, so let's go back to the main and we have pad one. So let's tap on pad one and let's look for orchestra and there's orchestra symbol. You might have to look for it, but there's our sound. So there's our sound and it's on pad one. Now we can exit out of that, go to our mixer, make sure we're on pads and keyboards, expand the keyboard out, we're at main, let's bring it down to tuning, let's drop it down, minus seven, there we go, it's down minus seven. Now we could change the other parameters if we wanted to also. We could change the EQ, we could change the volume, but let's just stick with a bend for this tutorial. Now, we've changed all the parameters in that pad. Now, being that that sound is in this group of four, we can come up here, save pad to library. Orchestra symbol, let's call it orchestra symbol 01. Okay, save. Now, all the parameters in that sound that we wanted to change that's playing in the matrix, we made, and it sounds really cool. Now, what do we do? We exit out of this, we go to matrix, we go to edit, go to edit mode, go to orchestra symbol, go to user, and bingo, orchestra symbol 01 is right there exit and now orchestra symbol one let's get out of edit is there being that that is sound has been altered and brought into the matrix it will stay there if i go from player one to player two it doesn't matter So this is the workaround that I came up with. Maybe you'll come up with something better. But basically, it's easy. The sound that you have in the matrix, such as that sound there, is in the keyboard library. So what you're basically going to do is import that into one of the pads on the main screen here, pad one, two, three, or four. As I have done, I have orchestra symbol on pad one. Then you can change the parameters and save it as a, another sound, as we did. If we go in here, and you can see under User, Orchestra Symbol 01. Once you've done that, then you can definitely go over to the matrix, hit Edit, and import it in. So basically, you're taking the sound, bringing it into the pads on the deck, 1 through 4, changing the parameters, saving it, and then importing it into the matrix. So my friends, I hope this helps you understand the matrix a little better. Take care.